Evening, everyone. Back in now, back in the van. Um, just wanted to say we just did our, uh, our clap for the NHS and key workers as everyone's keeping the world going. Um, awesome response. Our, our road just lit up. Obviously, we're all standing way, way, way apart. But all from our bedroom windows and everything. Everyone was clapping. We had fireworks going off and everything. So, yeah. Thank you, guys, especially the guys at the NHS for keeping us all going in these trying times. I'm going to be doing the answers to our quiz now. Um, I'll run through the questions real quick, but I'll give you the answers, all the answers we were looking for at least. Because there was a couple. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, so, yes, so I've got the points here as well. So we'll just quickly go through it. So question one was, what does a waved red and yellow striped flag mean? Now, this tripped some people up straight away, which was pretty good, um, which is what I wanted. Um, hi, Steph. Hi, Nick. I'll probably wait until everybody's on here, actually, before I start letting the questions out. Hope you did your claps. Oh, you've got the clap. Well, we've got five people watching, so hopefully everyone's there. Um, yeah, so first one tripped everyone up straight away, which is brilliant. That's what we want. Uh, so question one was, what does a waved red and yellow striped flag mean? The trick was in the waved. Um, so it's slippery surface imminent. Um, anyone who is a driver will know they'll hang a red and yellow out um, just out the side of the track. Um, but when they're waving it, it means you're uh, pretty much literally on the slippery patch. I know this. I found out when I did my first race with uh, T-Mole. It was literally a waved oil Clio blew up in front of me and it was very slippery. So, yes, the, uh, the the trick was in the waved part. So, a few of you got that right, a few of you got it wrong. Okay, so question two was, what does Parc Ferme mean? And it literally is closed park in French. Okay, so was, that's what we were looking for, closed park. Uh, question three, what was Murray Walker's famous phrase when commentating between Cleland and Soap in the 92 Silverstone BTCC? A bonus point for John's gesture before... The obviously the famous bit where they collided and Cleland said the man's an animal. Um, Soper did Cleland and Cleland nicely <laughs> stuck his middle finger up at him. And Murray Walker's improvisation was I'm going for first, he says. So that's what I was looking for it was I'm going for first and then the middle finger. Uh, question four. I think all of you got this one right, which is what Struxon's fastest corner called, which was church. We don't have those on rally stages. No, of course you don't, Nick. Everything's a slippery surface on a rally stage. Um, yes, question four. Uh, Thruxton's fastest corner is Church. Again, one I've never driven, but one I'd love to. Um, again, question five, something that everyone else got right. What is the name of the Boxing Day event held at Mallory Park? And that is the Plum Pudding. So I really want to do that one too. Question six. Who is the main motorsport governing body in the UK? Now, I'm being picky with this one. Um... And in the fact that right now it is Motorsport UK. Now, granted, yes, they used to be MSA, but they have been rebranded to Motorsport UK. So I'm going to be a bit of a bastard and only give Motorsport UK as the correct answer for that one. Question seven. What is the definition of understeer? You actually pretty much all got it right. So um, when a vehicle turns less sharp sharply for a particular movement of the steering wheel when anticipated. As I say, I wasn't going to do it like for like, but... We all know what it feels like. We turn and it doesn't do anything. Um, so, yeah, that was question seven. So, well done, everyone. Uh, question eight. Uh, list five drivers that have won the BTCC twice, uh, title twice or more. Uh, you could have had anyone from Turks. Uh, Turkington, Plato, Shedden, Neil, Giovanardi, Thompson, Menu, Clellan, Rouse, McGovern, Percy, Sears and Hodgetts. But you all got that one right. It was a fairly easy one, actually. I'll have to make them harder next time. Um, question nine tripped everyone over, which is good. Um, what team won the 2019 MSVT Track Day Championship? And that was actually Dark Side Developments. Um, if you haven't seen what these guys do with diesel cars and things like that, you should 100% check them out. I'd take my hat off to those boys. But yeah, they were your 2019 MSVT Track Day Championship winners. Question 10. Who and what team won the 2016 BTCC Championship? Bonus point for the race number on the winning car. It was, in fact, Gordon Shedden with Team Honda Urasa Racing. And his car number was number 52. Um, you never know. We might see Turk back in the BTCC this year. We'll see. Question 11. Name three non-MSV race circuits in the UK. It has to be actual racetracks. Now, granted... I probably didn't list them all myself anyway, but I was looking for the likes of Anglesey, Mallory, Pembry, Knockhill, Thruxton, Goodwood, Croft, Silverstone. 
There's probably some more we didn't list, but I mean, they're the main ones that us club racers would use. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of ones we were looking for. Uh, where were we? Question 12. How much BHP do stickers actually add to a race car? It's five brake horsepower. Everybody knows that. It's five brake horse per sticker. It's a bit of a laugh, though. <laughs> a lot of people said 10. I think if that was the case, my car would be super fast, but it's not. So it's definitely only five. Uh, question 13. What is Cabral Park also known as? The Mini Nurberg Ring. I think most of you got that one right. Ooh, da, da, da. Question 14. What are the two straights called at Snetterton? That is the Bentley Strait and the Senna Strait. Um, and if you ever do one in, if you ever do them in a KA, it goes on forever. Uh, question 15. What does race car spell backwards spell? Race car. <laughs> I was hoping someone would put the capital letter at the end, but anyway. Uh, yeah. Question 16. Which current club racer drives this car? And as you can imagine, that is an absolute animal of a car. Um, there's one person who couldn't have got this wrong. And if he did get it wrong, I'd be having words with him. But that's Mr. Fletcher, because it's actually Motivate Media's picture. Um, the answer is Andy Robinson. It has actually since had a livery change into a black and silver, but what a car. What an absolute car that is. And as you can tell, obviously you used to race in the uh, V8 supercars over in Australia once upon a time. Um, but yeah, amazing car. Go see if you get a chance to. Um, question 17, another one that tripped a lot of people up. Which team won the British GT GT3 Championship in 2019? It was, in fact, Barwell Motorsport. Uh, so well done to those guys, and well done to the guys who got it right. Um, what is the name of the piece of equipment? Uh, sorry, question 18. What is the name of the piece of equipment that protects your head and partially your face in the event of a fire? Balaclava. Nice, easy one. When you get a chance, ask Steph to say it. Definitely ask Steph to say balaclava. Uh, question 19, I think everybody got right, which was fill in the gap. The blank is the point at which you are closest to the inside of the corner. The answer is apex. He's got two, that one and the silver and blue one. Oh, sorry, Jonathan. I didn't realise they were both different cars. Oh, fair enough. Lucky bastard then, really, isn't he? But gorgeous nonetheless. Uh, question 20. And then when was the 750 Motor Club established? A couple of you got it right. And that was 1939. So they've been going forever. Um, yeah, so then, guys, that was the questions. Um, I will give you as this scores i'll do this all a bit better next time it was a good laugh hope you all enjoyed it lots of feedback please if, if you enjoyed it great if there's anything we can do better let me know i do want to do this again it's been quite fun um so four of you guys entered okay so that was four teams uh so team motivate media jonathan you got 15 out of 22 so well done mate uh nick tin tops mr underwood you got 15 out of 22 as well um I'm going to do, do you guys as a combination, Chris and Vicky. Um, team All Square Rap and Ride, you got 15 out of 22 as well. And then coming in last, which is very rare for Pip Hammond, 13 out of 22. So uh, how's it feel to be back of the back of the packs, eh, Pip? Um, but yeah, so well done, guys. So joint three of your technically joint winners all with 15 points. We'll do a little table. Um, so next time we do it next week, we'll do it. We'll add you up, but you guys, I'll send you that sticker. So just send me out your addresses and things like that, and I'll uh, send you out a little Club Racing UK sticker. But thanks, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a bit of a laugh from the bore and doom and gloom of the world. Um, I'll put my look at this. I'll put my jazzy hat back on, and I'm going to go back inside and see my wife. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Tune in next week. Um, we'll think of twenty new questions. Um, yeah, thanks very much, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.